currently uh, waiting for my uh, order at Food Panda. But, uh, well, bottom line, I'm just enjoying the outside world right now. <laughs> Um, I want to clear my mind from the grind and to, of course, to prepare myself for the grind that's about to happen because I'm about to, uh, I'm about to record the first, the first few reviews of, uh, of the new volume of my anime reviews, right? It's a good sunset. It's a good sunset. Sometimes, well, you you just gotta you just gotta go outside of your outside of your workplace and well, just sit down and basically enjoy the sunset. But what exactly am I driving at here, YouTube? Well, simple, right? Grinding for whatever your uh, for whatever your work is content, building your brand, building your business, can just take a toll out of you, right? Can just take a toll out of you. And more often than not, you need a breather. And well, sitting down, sitting down in the, uh, in the most open area of your house, watching the sunset, it's a good way. Okay, it's a good way. See? I took a breather. So here's my power tip for you, YouTube. No matter how hard your day was or how easy it is, always sit down in the most open part of your home or office and before you clock out enjoy the scenery right? enjoy the scenery you can even grab up you can even grab your favorite drink or uh, or yeah even even have an early dinner while you're while you're enjoying the sights it eases the mind it eases the mind so again well in short Here's my power tip. No matter how hard or easy the day is, always enjoy the sunset. I just uh, encountered this um, story by uh, uh, one of our beauty queens here, Bea Rosanchago. And... Uh, I just I just found I just found out that uh, she's uh, she's undergoing dialysis right now because of her um, she now has a chronic kidney chronic kidney disease and uh, is she citing her gym life as the cause of this all right I can't believe all right Bayero Santiago Miss International 2013 okay um, She's well. Um, she's one of a million reasons why I'm proud to be a Filipino, right? She brought pride to our country, and, and now she's based in Canada, um, all because she has chronic kidney disease and she's undergoing, I think, dialysis five times a week. Wow, that's um, that's way worse than what my father. When what my late father experienced, he was only take he was only uh, getting his dialysis three times a week, right? Her case is much worse. It means. But what am I driving at here? Uh, Reddit. Well, she's attributing to the gym life as the cause of her well, as the cause of her sickness right now. But uh, I've seen her Instagram. She she looks fine, and she's um, she's living her life on her own terms, despite that. But anyway, if you do a diet plan, okay, 
if you do a diet plan the wrong way, you may end up like this. Right? You may end up with a um, with a with a serious illness. Okay. Now, when you say when when someone says the gym life, I would um, interpret that as one having a high protein diet. Say, siempre, siempre, your your major form of exercise is the gym. So, nagbubuhat ka. You're 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 pumping iron, all right? You're doing aerobics. You're doing aerobic exercises. Probably um, on the suggestion of some of her, I'm, I'm sure she had trainers to. I think I think they were telling her to engage in a high protein diet. Bad move. Bad move. Why? Because well, this is exactly what happens when you when you accumulate too much protein in your body. All right. Your kidneys won't take it; they will fail. Okay, if they're uh, if they're processing too many, too much protein, yep, they can give out. So, we keto practitioners um, do not actually do not actually go through a high protein diet. Okay, our diet, uh, the keto diet in general, is mostly fats. Um, what you call this? Um, heavy, heavy on fats, moderate on proteins, and light on carbs. Right? Moderate protein. Right? Kasi pag nasobrang ka ng protein talaga, you may end up like Bayo Rosan Chago. Chronic kidney disease. You may end up like my father. Right? Pero, iba naman yun sa case ng father ko eh. Um, Bay Rose's case is um, is closest to what I'm what I'm talking about right now. So, if you do a diet plan wrong, you may end up like this. Right? Kaya kami, we would always include vegetables in our meals because it's the only good carbohydrates. Right? Believe it or not, carbohydrates din ang gulay, but these are good carbohydrates. They don't stay in the body that long. But while they're traveling the digestive tract, they, of course, they clean your intestines. Okay? Making your kidneys job a lot easier. You get what I'm saying? So here's my power tip for you, Reddit. Always include vegetables, not just... Uh, well, as much as possible in all of your meals right breakfast lunch dinner include vegetables in your meals because well they might be your saving grace in in any diet plan right kapag hindi nyo sinabayan ng gulay you're doing any diet plan wrong so again my power tip Always eat your vegetables. Uh, I just um, remembered this uh, this post on LinkedIn, right here, and I thought, is there any other use for LinkedIn? <laughs> but. Um, anyway, well, um, sadly, there is, um, there is an unethical way to use LinkedIn. Okay, I've been a victim of this, uh, several times already. Okay, spamming, right? The moment they, uh, see that you've accepted their request, they pitch you with these, um, uh, these products or services that they have without even acknowledging 
um, uh, you accepting the request. Ni thank you nga, wala eh. Okay? Ni thank you, wala. What am I driving at here, LinkedIn? Well, whether, whether we realize it or not, spamming is now rampant here. All right? People, people would pitch their products or services or, um, uh, or whatever bullshit they're trying, to, uh, they're trying to put out in the world without even uh, acknowledging your existence as a fellow user. Okay? It's good to network with people here on LinkedIn because that's what LinkedIn is for. But if you're going to uh, uh, if you're going to sell your product or service right away the moment they accept your connection request, okay, that is uncalled for, especially here on LinkedIn. Okay, I'm a net I'm a network marketer and uh, I'm also an online seller. But when was the last time I? Um, I actually pitched my product or service on my feed. I couldn't remember because I don't do it. I don't do it. Only people who um, only people who value my uh, my worth as a LinkedIn user. Those are the people I would uh, I would offer my product or service. Okay. Those are the only people here on LinkedIn that I will offer my product or service. Because well, basically they value my status as a user here. So here's my power tip for you, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is only for connections. If you want to sell something, sell yourself first. I just saw this, um, well, not actually saw. I um, went back to this post by Gary Vaynerchuk over at LinkedIn. And, well, before I explain that, if you need to follow me on LinkedIn, there's my username right there, right? Follow me there. And Gary V. Now, he's right on that. Okay? He is, he, he, he is dead fucking right on that. Because when you work for yourself, you only got your goals to, um, to remind you that you got a job to do, that you got, uh, you got a business to run, you got a brand to keep, you got a brand to maintain, sorry, and um, basically, you got a life to lead. But when you're uh, working, but when you're working for someone else, time is always in your face, all right? It's the time being pressured. It's someone else's time being pressured on you. Right? This is what, well, this is what the corporate life, unfortunately, is, uh, is drilling you. It's drilling into your head. Alright? That's what, why am I saying... Why am I saying this in the second person? Because well, I've only been an employee for for a total of one and a half years. I grew sick of it. All right, because I want to work on my own time. I want to work on my own terms. Basically, well, at the end of the day, it is still all about you. Right. So, 
Here's my power tip, Instagram. Never work for someone else's. Never work for never work under someone else's time. If they really want your services, they have to work under your time. Right? Because well, we've had too many um people with employee mindsets already. Right? Even during this even during this crazy time. So don't add it. Don't add some don't add someone else to it. Don't add yourself to it. So again, my power tip. Your time is more valuable than anyone else's. I'm about to go to bed, but I um, saw this uh, post here on Telegram. And I wondered... How are everyone who was gainfully employed during, well, before the pandemic, what are they thinking about it now? How are they thinking of their potential right now? Now is not the best time to think of what you, what you may become. All right? I'll tell you what I'm driving at here, Telegram. Well, Hindi kung kailang hindi kung kailang nasa pandemya tayo, nasa crisis tayo, doon pa lang doon niyo pa lang iisipin ang mga sarili niyo. You should be thinking of yourselves way before any any crisis starts. That is the best time to think of your own potential. Of what you can do, what you can become. What dreams can you achieve? Hindi kung kailang hindi kung kailang nasa crisis ka, doon pa lang kayo mag-iisip. That is the wrong way to do it, right? Wrong way. But as I think of it now, You should never look down on your own potential. All right. No matter what the world dictates, what your employer dictates, what um what a black swan event dictates. At the end of the day, it's still about you. It's all about you. You have to think of your own potential. Not just during periods of lull, during periods of crisis. Nope. The best time to think of your own potential is during when you, everything is okay. Okay. If not all the time. All right. So here's my power tip for you, Telegram. The best time to think of your own potential it's not during times of crisis or times of uh, relaxation you should be thinking of your own potential during your time of productivity so do something for God's sakes all right do something for God's sakes so that you can discover your own potential. Alright? Again, my power tip. The best time to discover your potential is when you are doing something. First time I heard the um, the app Laika is, was through Wawa Win. Now, um, I figured na lang siguro masama kung yung download ko at saka tatry ko. And I thought, well, what? 
after um, putting on, after posting my first moment, it's uh, it's stories to Laika. I thought, hmm, feels a lot like Instagram. Bukong, <laughs> bukong madaling gamitin. And I figured, why not start posting diaries entries here? Why not um, monetize the diaries as in? So, yeah. This is the first diaries entry for Laika. Alright. I got um, I got high hopes for this platform because, well, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of new social media platforms right now that pay their that pay content creators but this one it pays in pesos okay philippine pesos okay uh, and nung na pino screen moment ko ayun may kinita na ako and so every time and i found out that every time you um, you rate other people's posts you earn also thought hmm For the first time, mo monetize ng diary sa. <laughs> so well, what am I driving at here? Like ah, uh, content creators really need to get really need to get paid um, as quickly as possible because sa dami namin eh. All of us are grinding for our content. All of us are grinding to promote them. And all of us are grinding to reap the rewards later on. But through this platform, we can already see uh, our. We can already see the payoff. Okay, so I can say na magandang platform. Magandang platform itong nasa inyo. Right. Well, here's my power tip for you, Laika. To all the creators right who are who are here, don't stop creating content. Right? Especially if uh, you're on a platform like this. That instantly well it instantly pays you for um, for the content you put on here. You post. So it's motivation. Eh? Okay. I hope Laika encourages other um content content creators content creators who have been active on other platforms like um, like Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, uh, even LinkedIn, even TikTok. Because, well, abuti ka pa ng... Let's face it, abuti ka pa ng siyam-siyam bago, ka, bago mo ma-monetize ma ang mga content mo dun. But here in Laika, you already, you already see the payoff. Okay, isang... Isang rating pa lang ng ibang ng post ng ibang tao, meron ka na eh. Right? So, here's my power tip for everyone who is not on Laika yet. Get on the platform. And get paid. Okay? Get paid for the content you have been creating. Okay? So, there's nothing left to say but this. Laika, welcome to the diaries.